The United Arab Emirates is located in the Middle East. I consider this to be the land of opportunity. You have 200 nationalities that live and work in the United Arab Emirates. The diversity that I've seen, I haven't seen in any other country. The food, the traditions, it's just lovely. The United Arab Emirates is a relatively young country. It's ranked as the second safest country in the world. I literally leave the house without even locking my door. The UAE is a vision of the future. We have the tallest building in the world. The biggest mosques. We also have the largest mall in the world in Dubai Mall. But that takes away from the you know, natural landscape of the desert that we have, which has tons of activities they can do you know, year long. It's one of those countries that continues to just wow anyone who comes to visit. The United Arab Emirates has always been at the forefront of sustainability. Trying to keep for future generations the same conditions as the ones we received. Back in the days, sustainability was the cool thing to have, you know, the, the funky new hat, but now that's not the case. Now it's a must. When we talk about aviation sustainability, it's always important to break it down a little bit. Uh, we think of four pillars or levers to decarbonize aviation. Operational efficiency, fleet renewal, changing older aircrafts into newer ones, future modes of transportation, whether it's hydrogen or electric vehicles, and the most important one, sustainable aviation fuels. Sustainable aviation fuels are chemically identical to conventional fuel that we get from oil and gas. The only difference is that they reduce emissions through their life cycle. We take biomaterials and we turn them into a usable form of energy. Just like we get sunflower oil or oil from different types of plants, this specific plant, salicornia, the one that we're working on, has a high oil content. So after extracting that oil, we would process it just like we would process any other oil to produce uh, these uh, sustainable fuels. A renewable fuel or a biofuel could produce 80% less carbon emissions than a conventional aviation fuel. Now what makes the project that we're working on here in the UAE unique is that we're not competing with food production and we're not actually using freshwater resources. That's what makes the salicornia plant very unique because it can grow in these hot climate conditions using salt water. You remember when you planted these? You planted the first one. I did, yes. So. The first part of the process is aquaculture, where we grow fish and shrimp and other food. As these fish grow, they produce waste. The waste acts as a fertilizer, and that's where the salicornia plant is grown. We extracted the seeds from the plants, we crushed those seeds to obtain their oil, and then we took this oil and we put it through a refining process, and we produced a sustainable aviation fuel. Now the final part of the process is mangroves, and that's another important part of the system because it, it acts as a carbon sink. So it absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and it also makes sure that any leftover waste that's produced by the fish acts as nutrients to these mangroves. We did a commercial flight from Abu Dhabi to Amsterdam with passengers on board to proof that you can actually grow plants in the desert, produce a fuel from all this, and then fly on a commercial aircraft that takes passengers from one point of the world to another. The work that we're doing in terms of decarbonizing the fuel is a solution that can be used in today's aviation industry. And that's a critical part as we continue to invest in research and develop products for tomorrow's aviation industry. Companies like Boeing look into the future because they want to understand what's coming. One of those focus areas for us is future mobility. And what that translates into is advanced air mobility. I can sum it up with one phrase. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Boeing invested in a company called Whisk. They're working on developing an autonomous passenger carrying electric vertical takeoff and landing air taxi. What it's planning to do is carry four passengers and their carry-on luggage for up to 145 kilometers in 15 minutes. That's Dubai to Abu Dhabi in 15 minutes. And if you've been stuck on that traffic on a Friday evening, you'll know that that's a plus.
STEM education is the critical key, really, for developing sustainable aviation. Sustainability has become one of those core elements as part of STEM. Having that is going to help you reimagine what that future looks like with sustainability in mind. Boeing is definitely working towards a sustainable future. From the design stage, through the manufacturing, through the operations, all the way to the end of life. There are great challenges ahead of us in terms of uh, sustainability, but I'm also a very strong believer in our ability to come up with innovative solutions. By working in sustainable aviation fuel, we are making a big contribution to reducing our carbon footprint and to reach this idea of flying net zero by year 2050. I am even more excited for the next generation to come because that's gonna be the generation that really builds what comes next. And I just can't wait to see where that goes.